course this time is going to be less on the actual numbers but more on signs. Commentary, if the worst of the demand deterioration is behind the industry, if demand is picking up, are there green shoots? Can growth recover in the second half of FI24 or is it going to be only in FI25? Now, IT stocks have seen a very strong, smart run up in Q2. The Nifty IT index is up 7.5% in the July to September period versus the Nifty, which has rallied 1.5%. There has been this big outperformance and it's been driven by two factors. One, strong deal win announcements and two, expectations of a demand revival in FI25. Now, if you have to summarize Q2, Q2 is largely going to be a continuation of the weakness that we've seen. No further deterioration, but no improvement in outlook, but strong deal wins this time. So in terms of numbers, for Infosys, we're looking at a growth rate of 1%, constant currency quarter on quarter, similar to what they had last quarter, TCS at 0.7%. Wipro is likely to report a revenue decline for the third consecutive quarter, but still within its guidance. Uh, in terms of the other IT companies, it's Tech Mahindra, which is likely to be the other IT company apart from Wipro, where you could see a quarter on quarter dip in the top line. But the highlight of the quarter has been the deal wins. Deal wins have been very, very robust in Q2. So for instance, Infosys had signed a very large deal with uh, Liberty Global. For TCS, it was a large deal win with JLR. For HCL Tech, it was a deal with Verizon with over $2 billion in terms of size. Now, Kotak estimates that Infosys this time could report a total contract value of five and a half to $6 billion, much higher than the average that we've seen in the last couple of quarters. According to Kotak, TCS could report deal wins of $12 billion this time, a jump of 48% on a year-on-year -year basis. The only question is, when it comes to these large deals, is are they going to be margin dilutive going ahead? For Q2, margins are going to be largely stable, as you can see over here. In terms of other factors to watch, guidance. Now, Infi's FI24 guidance stands at 1 to 3.5%. EBIT margins are 20 to 22%, likely to remain unchanged. HCL Tech had given a guidance of 6 to 8%, likely to be maintained, but they could guide for margins to be at the lower end of their guided band, maybe closer to 18 to 19%. TCS has announced that they will consider a buyback along with their numbers. And for Tech Mahindra, the focus is going to be on the strategy under the new CEO and the margin recovery. And finally, on valuations. Valuations are similar to the five-year average, but they're slightly lower than what if you compare it to the three-year average, because the three-year average takes into account the post-COVID boom. Only in the case of Tech Mahindra have we seen valuations higher than the recent past, and that's on expectations of a re-rating, a turnaround under the new CEO.